Hi guys, Jan here and welcome back to The Present. So as as you can see, meron tayong guest ngayon. Dalawa sila, no? no? Medyo bago siya sa ating show. <laughs> and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, they are really into the e-commerce industry and a lot of you guys want to have a business and this is one of the things that you can try. But before anything else, before tayo mag-proceed, um, let us have them introduce themselves. Okay? Sige. So let's start with Marco. Okay. Hi guys, um, my name is Marco. Um, 26 years old. I've been doing the e-commerce business for quite some time right now, mga around two years now. And so far it's been like really nice and it's like a type of business wherein you can get a lot of freedom from. So if you're interested, um, continue watching the video. And Are next the month, see the next you Wednesday. Wednesday. Hi guys, uh, I'm Wednesday, 29 years old. So I've been doing e-com since 2016. So first ko siya na um, nalaman is nagka uh, um tawag ito nagka uh, client ako from abroad so like freelancer mm -hmm. before and then I handle all the Facebook ads and then doon ko nalaman kung gaano siya ka potential and gaano kalaki yung ma-earn. Mm. Okay. So you started working for a client and eventually you learned Kung an, unsa man yung dagan sa e-commerce space. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Say so, mo ha, how did you get exposed sa uh, e-commerce? Um, it's really quite interesting because um, I used to work before as a like a BPO agent. Okay. So it's not like the typical B BPO like firm na they have technical and billing accounts. It's more of a social account. So yung mga clients namin, e-commerce talaga, but they're in the international version. So from there, I got curious. Then when I, later on, you know, promote ako as a manager, I kind of like snooped around the back end. Okay. <laughs> so so yeah, then when I snooped around, um, it really piqued my interest. Then then do next spark yung idea na what if nasa Pilipinas yun? Would it work? Then I started my research. Then sooner or later, I discovered how to do it. I discovered some of the communities there in Manila and Cebu. Now right now. Um, slowly but surely, we're also building a community here in Davao. Okay, so ganun yung parang journey ko so far. Alright, so two years na? Yeah, two years. And say, four years. Four, four years. years. Kamusta ang dagan? Okay ba? Okay naman. Okay. Very rewarding. <laughs> I mean, for me, um, since I have a kid, <laughs> like, ano to, um, if, you, if you're an, like, in my personal perspective, if you're a person or an employee that has like, a little bit of savings on the side however it doesn't the amount doesn't permit you to have a business in sanay tayo mga Pilipino for traditional business since ano to, like when you go to traditional business it's probably half a million or a million that you need diba? Kasi you purchase everything before starting it versus doing e-commerce e-commerce kasi ano eh, um, since we're cash on delivery here in the Philippines like you get to sell the item first then kunin mo lang yung data kahit hindi mo fulfill yung item quits kayo kasi walang nilabas yung customer diba? so okay. but then you get the important data wherein mabenta ba yung item or hindi so, or in masyado malaki yung investment kumbaga exactly in the beginning yeah, yes. in the so beginning. speaking of investment kay ang common mong gano'ng pangutan na sa ito ang viewers is Sir Jan kung sa may nindot na negosyo kapag human po dana is pila ang capital kailangan mm -hmm. so since we're talking about so again when it comes to business it really depends some yes. are good with e-com some are good with like different industries but the point is we all should have the skills to run a business okay so for example sa e-com in terms of capitalization investment if I'm a newbie and I'm gonna start sa e-com what's the ideal capitalization for me to learn at the same time to start you know making money or operating the business 50 to 100 50 to yeah, 100 yeah. but it goes to say na the more you have to start with the more comfortable it becomes kasi ano to, um let's say you have like 100,000 i mean you're good per mahihirapan ko konti in terms mm -hmm. of management in terms of like money stocks and budget more for advertising um I'm I'm saying that it's better when you have more, just mainly because once you have more, you can immediately jump into something a little bit more advanced, mm -hmm. where it's much more comfortable ka while doing your business. Because I mean, don't get me wrong, the business platform itself it's a simple com concept, but I'm not saying it's easy. <laughs> okay, so gano <laughs> lang siya. So yeah, easy to understand, yeah, but, but hard to hard, do. hard to do, yeah. hard to execute. <laughs> Mas maganda if malaki ay yung 
ano mo yung capital mo para easy rin to scale up mm-hmm. if like going big ka na talaga yes okay kasi Sige. kasi like in terms of scalability i'm just gonna like ano with Wednesday's ano parang thought process kasi once you scale kasi like si ecom sobrang bilis eh yeah fast face yes fast face talaga siya since sabihin natin you have like we call this a winning item so if you have a winning item mm-hmm. then it's like really selling good it's not like the traditional business when you have to like put up branches here and there mm-hmm. since you're digitally online you scale up nationwide agad sa Philippines okay so with a gi- with a given scope like cover mo kaagad ng buong Philippines and all you have to do is just like make sure you you're you're marketing it in a way that's smarter that's faster and more wide so ganun siya kabilis in terms of scalability sa to papaspas jud siya na na business yes na, there's space masyado yeah okay so we also have this uh, statistics no na sabi nila na out of the 10 businesses na mag start within 5 years what usually happens is 9 of them will fail and then mm. isa lang yung mag succeed after 5 years that's the common thing that we see on Instagram or Facebook sa karon sa e-commerce let's say out of the 10 newbies na mag start sa e-commerce like uh, mga ilang percentage ang most probably na mag succeed sila within 5 years you think hmm that's a really interesting question um for me I think it really depends on what their goals are and why they're doing it in the okay. first place. Because you'd only stick so uh, you only stick to something consistently if you have a purpose behind it, talaga. Okay. So I mean, I can't I can't get a specific number on it because it really depends. It if, really depends. Yeah. If sa tingin mo na, because people sometimes people are happy with like having five figures a week, like six figures a week, or like. Say like seven, oh, figures, yeah, a seven week, yeah. figures a week. I mean, they're hap- they're happier, but some some are also like, siguro like, hindi sila comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. So it really depends on your goals at the same time, like the need and the want and the purpose behind it. So I guess it's like a 50-50 thing. Maybe a 50-50. Uh, 50. Depende po kung unsa ka risk taker yung ginanta. Depende siya sa risk taker. Uh, yeah. yeah, but now it's like fully risk, kasi lahat naman calculated. Yeah, yeah. Calculated risk. <laughs> like you you can like. Um, there are like specific formulas that we use okay. para hindi ka magbenta ng palugi. So, yeah. like ganun siya ka-intricate. Sige. Kumbaga. So, let's say, let's use the 50% thing as mm-hmm. the basis na, okay, okay, out of the 10 people na mag-start ng e most probably 5 of them will not okay. pursue it anymore mm-hmm. within 5 years. Okay? So, what if merong, merong kaming matutunan na techniques or mm-hmm. tactics from you guys that you can say na at least man lang when we say na 50% yung failure rate mabawasan natin yun because we learned this tactic okay what kind of what tactics or strategies can you share to us para for, for beginners like us na pag mag start kami ng ecom the chances of us succeeding is at least man lang tumaas because we learned this strategy what what tactic is that what strategy is that can you mind ano, sharing for me is ano talaga um nagdedepende talaga sa product na binebenta mo so okay. how you research the product, how you present the product, and how you market the product. So kahit na tawag nito, kahit na uh, ganon ka pangit yung product mo, basa naman maganda yung result, bebenta at bebenta yun. Mm-hmm. If ever ganon ka ganda yung pagmarket mo. So possible po na guapo ang product pero bati ang pagmarketing. Yeah, may mga yeah, but, uso yan ngaron. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like some of them still works. So para work. yeah, it kind of still surprises you sometimes. Okay. Okay. So paano ba yan? Like w- let's say product is good. Like mm-hmm. tapos i market natin. Paano natin masabi or like what can we do to make the marketing good? Is it a video form or a graphic? Kung video man, anong style ng video or you know? Like how do you market good products in your case? For for example, if let's say t-shirt, t-shirt, cups, more than accessories. So it's it is working now for image. Kasi parang may visual. And then for like let's say cell phones, yung mga may may mga like techy masyado. So it's good for video marketing talaga. Mm. So as yung na ano na pansin lang namin na, yung pagtest lang namin ng product. Yeah. It's like more on like um products that you don't need to like 
explain how to use it like a t-shirt you don't need to explain how to yeah, use a yeah. t-shirt so Design yeah so it's Design. better if if you showcase them on an image and you know, like aesthetic design, pleasing design. Because when it go, comes to like digital devices and like new products in the market, like you sometimes have to teach people, anong use niya. At the same time, what benefits does it like give you as a person if you buy it or use it? So yeah, ganon siya ka ano, like madaming ways. <laughs> mm, madaming ways. Yeah, because we all know naman that products are they should be good to begin with right and then marketing supplements that mm. sometimes mm-hmm. rin na maganda masyado yung marketing and this happens a lot no? yeah. na maganda masyado yung pag market pero pagdating naman sa product parang what is this a bucket to yeah. scam pa so, scam pa lang <laughs> pero ning iba na maganda yung product yun nga lang hindi masyado ma maganda pagka market mm-hmm. pagka market pagka hindi ma communicate yeah. yes. so hindi ang mangyari is that people won't buy it because pangit yung pag market niya so at least you know that's like the business. So hindi siya sure win, right? But anyway, so when it comes to like e-commerce, um, pagdating sa mga products. So you mentioned kasi kanina research. You yeah, need research. to do your research, and it goes to show you law uh, law of supply and demand. Diba? Yes, you need to pul- fulfill the supply for the demand. Pagdating naman don, like how can we say na yung product? Paano natin siya ma research ba na? Feeling ko maganda tong product na to. What, mm. what process do you do? Do you have like a step by step flow that you guys do? There is a step by step flow, but um, just like before we dive into the topic, I'm just gonna set like some expectations. Um, like if you're gonna venture into the business of e-commerce, you just always have to remember that you are not your market. So it doesn't mean to say na feel mo na maganda tong item na to na it will really work for the market, de ba? But then again, that goes like backpedaling to what we've discussed earlier sabi ko you have to test the item first kung mabenta siya you don't have to order inventory for it right away since we're COD or cash on delivery okay. so if feel mo na maganda yung item you can test it if tama ang feeling mo <laughs> like if it works it works talaga diba? kasi there are different categories of items that we try to sell online they're like like mga items na kikita ka lang diba? more yung items na kikita ka na madami okay. <laughs> and, stable, lang. Uh, stable lang and then there are items then na hindi talaga nag work diba? so it really depends on how you actually do the process of qualifications or, or like verifying the product itself I mean we have a lot of you know styles. tools yeah. tools and styles diba? like some people like go out of their way and make it so unique and everything but you know it's just product research at the same time and aside from product research, you also also have to take into consideration now you are in the Philippines. If you're doing local e-commerce, if you're doing international, then you have to think like differently. Oh, okay, because there's a Iba difference in markets. Nila. Yes. Iba ang preference. So you have to adjust market. to the market. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Philippines, local or international. Then. Yes. Including yung na discuss natin before, um, including videos and pictures. Because in the Philippines, if ano ka, video ka, then you would have to take into consideration your product is for what type of market kung market B ka ba then most of the people in the Philippines na market B is on data or on free data or ano ba free Facebook ba? so you would have to take into consideration then you might think na baka hindi bagay yung video baka mas pwede yung image kasi mas mabilis siya magload ba? in terms of data usage network and internet you know how internet here in the, in the yeah. Philippines is, so yeah, that keeps it interesting. <laughs> so gabi hata detail na. Uh-oh. Ikaw wins. Like what? What's your style when it comes to product research? Uh for local, ano, local like market, I always do talaga na or always check talaga na pag bag product research ako. Dapat hindi pa siya binibenta sa Philippines. Mm-hmm. Um physical store dapat wala pa wala pa sa mall wala pa sa hindi pa in advertise basically mm-hmm. sa Philippines and then ano ba ba um, problem solver na product yun so bakit ka naman bibili ng product if hindi siya nagso-solve ng problem so it has to yeah, it solve has to be, yeah yeah so okay. yun yung mga some of my criteria kung bakit mm. yun if yun i will word. run a product okay so kailangan problem solver siya yeah. and then hindi pa saturated saturated yeah, yeah. sa market, sa market yung product yeah, yeah. niyan. Okay. So okay, uh ito yung like new generation siguro of doing business in terms mm-hmm. of retail kasi dati naman ang what's you, what usually happens is you open up a shop 
and then you buy a lot of inventory yes. and then you try to sell them hope that it will it sell work. hope and yeah. pray diba? <laughs> kung wala sorry na lang yeah. gg diba? good game Ganun. and then you invested like 500k or 1 yeah. million or 1 million diba Depende. kasali pa yung ano pa yung rent mo electricity mo labor Office and all pa. so grabe ang negosyo so karon ang nahitabo is that those businesses na nag, with a brick and mortar store mm-hmm. some of them are slowly transitioning to e-commerce e-commerce yes diba True. Why do you think yun yung move nila ngayon? Is it why is it a smart move in your opinion? Because for me, if for example you're selling like um, cell phone, pwede naman siya order online. Hindi mo hindi mo naman kailangan like puntahan pa sa store. Kasi may product description naman, cah specification, cah convenience. Okay, so convenience. Yeah. Tapos technically makita na mo tanan dito sa no, online thing. Mula trabo kasi mong balay. Kadaot exactly. mga grada. At the same time, it kind of saves over uh, like overhead or operational expenses. Mm. If you're like if you're a brick and mortar business, why do you transition to digital like online selling? Um, one of the very reasons is wala ka masyadong operational expenses. And all types of marketing that you do online are like recorded. So you have a very solid database and data-driven things to decide from. Mm. Diba? Kasi like just comparing before and now on how companies market. If you put up an ad, I'm not saying uh, it's not good to put up an ad, but I'm just saying there's a comparison. If you put up, let's just say, merong bagul na kausap. If you put up an ad for television na 350,000 and you showcase it um, nationwide, and bakak hindi mo pa makuha yung prime time, mm-hmm. then there's like a big difference compared to when you're doing online social media advertising since the way you market is directly into the lifestyles of people of this day when you wake up what the what's the first thing that you grab it's most phone probably your phone, phone. diba kwa kag cellphone open ka facebook da yon instagram da yon check ni mo kung may, may nagmamahal ba <laughs> so wa uh, ganun may diba? may notification ba yeah now people like for online marketers that's how we can Like position ourselves properly, and it goes to show na like brick and mortar businesses, um, like they kind of what do you call this? Um, parang gin acknowledge nila yun. Hmm. That's why it's better for them. We actually like we kind of help uh, like some of like brick and mortar businesses transitioning then. To uh, e-commerce. Yes, I'm not saying na not having a brick and mortar business versus e-commerce is like a preference over the other. However, I think it's Good to have both. Yeah, mas yeah. advantage. Mas yeah. advantage. At least, ma, meron kang market online. Meron kang market mm-hmm. don sa offline store mo. Exactly. Pero meron din bang ibang e-commerce shop or they, they started off as an e-commerce, then nagkaroon sila ng brick and mortar. Meron ba mga situations? Oh, then? oh, there are a lot. Yeah. There are a lot. Meron, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so why do people do that besides the fact na more markets? Um, it's. Like if you think about it, I'm not gonna drop a brand, but I'm not saying uh, it's a Tumblr. <laughs> so, yun siya. Um, they're a they're a very well-known e-commerce brand in the international market. Now they expanded into some markets where in Siguro, kasi yung brand nila for the specific product does not sell as good as they think it would be online for that specific place. However, when they tried to do it in a brick and mortar style, do na kukuha nila yung sales. Mm-hmm. So that's why we just mentioned it's better to have both. Because like, di ka limited, eh. you're flexible enough, okay. de ba? And the game of business is a huge game of adaptability throughout the times. If you can't adapt, you become obsolete, de ba? So ganon siya. Bagay. Yeah. <laughs> so wanna have both yeah. if you're into business. Yeah. Can, can you put? So there are some characteristics ang isang person para masabi natin na bagay siya sa isang bagay. For mm. example, if you kung gusto mo maging speaker or like uh-huh. trainer, mm-hmm. you need to be knowledgeable, you need to know how to dummify things, mm. you need to know, you need to have patience, <laughs> you know, with for people na hindi marunong ganun, di ba? Yes. So I'm pretty sure na meron ding specific traits ang isang tao para bagay siya for e-commerce. Meron ding ganun yeah, na yeah, man, yeah. right? 
So, what kind of person or what traits should a person have in order for us to somehow say na bagay ka pag meron ka nito sa e-commerce? Basta kabalo lang ka mamaligya or let's say um, dog lover ka. Okay. So, gusto ka mag put up o store ni mo for dogs. So, that's one way to like create one. Diba? So, like, or ang saba, um, like, ganahan ka mga clothing. So, pwede na ka mag put up o online store ni mo for clothing brand. Depende so, kung unsa ang style na gusto. So, parang medyo... So, parang compassionate ka yeah. na, na nabutang. So, mauto siya yung mga himuan o store. Okay. So, automatic na pag-passionate ka, you uh-huh. can try to yeah. get yeah. yourself into e-commerce. Yeah. Actually, it's one way put to test if the product is working sa Bikin Mortar through online. Kasi mas mura, di ba? Mm. Before ka mag-invest, huwag ka na dinagko na dyan kayo. Mm. Okay. Cool. So, passion. <laughs> yeah, passion. Ako, ano, Besides passion. Yeah, like, for me, um, it's like something that's very close to me. Like, I guess, tenacity. So, when you're tenacious, so, tenacity. they stop. <laughs> Spell. In, in, in late English, <laughs> don't be funny. Tenacity. Karang... Never give up. <laughs> oh, never give up. <laughs> diba? So never give up. Because, like I said, like we've said earlier, like the business concept is very simple. However, it's not easy. Even though na you have people guiding you, it's not every time that they can hold your hand along the way. Yeah. So you kind of have to figure things out by yourself. And especially this comes into play when in karang. Madaganan gud ni mo na nakay problema after problema after problema after problema nya unsa on lang mo ni is diba nya ikaw na lang isa wala na yung unsa wala mo tabang sa imo so like yeah so para kay ito hugot na kay hugot pero hugot na yung dua sige sige pero yun um like tenacity lang talaga never give up kasi at the end of the day there are always solutions maybe you're just like looking at looking at it from a different angle diba so angle angle lang yun so that's passion, passionate and, and then tenacity oh, tenacity like, tenacious we got no word, the tenacious <laughs> never give up um, never give up well actually in any business you also have to have those things eh. yeah. so regardless of what line you're gonna be in basta naka sa negosyo ba dili yun dali mo lang yun na ako never should but, uh, it's it's good to aspire to have one sige ganito din sa sa e-com na na area um I'm sure you you went through a lot of struggles, two years, four years, diba? <laughs> When I say struggles, it hindi lang tungkol sa pera, uh, pwede rin sa operations, problems, na hindi, ano yun, return, re, uh, return of investment? Hindi, yung ROAS, ba yun? Ay, yung RTS. RTS, RTS. RTS, 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 RTS like, yes. na-deliver na, na-deliver na, na-deliver to, dili-dawaton, dili-dawaton, balik na po, kwarta na unta. Uh, na RTS pa. pa. <laughs> Mo nang turn na RTS. Okay, uh-huh. lab- labad. Okay. So, what struggles, from all the struggles that you went through, I'm sure there's a lot, can you name at least isa d'yo na dili ninyo malimtan kaya grabe d'yo siya kada kong impact sa inyong life when it comes to e-commerce. Sige. For me is, uh, before talaga ako nag-fly, I mean, before ako nag-light succeed talaga, um, Dako jud siya og investment so meaning dako siya lugi. I mean, kinabawi naman so lugi. So around <laughs> mga six figure pod. So dili siya yung anak jud ka sayon mag ecom. So, but okay. ang reward pretty much dako jud kayo. Yeah. Dako jud kayo. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wala kay nawo siya talaga. Like nakita niyo yun, imagine niyo. <laughs> so sa ato pa you lost like six figures yeah, when six you figures tried to figure things out. Yeah. Pero karon no rako okay okay na yeah. po. Okay na. Okay kayo. Uh, okay kayo. Okay na man siguro. Okay sige. Ikaw Mark. Sa uh, is investment si Moha is. Akin was more on siguro before ako nag take off and fly, oh, diba? Um more on understanding the cash flow talaga. Kasi like that's the biggest thing for me kasi if you can't manage cash flow like wherein you can't manage your personal expenses um, versus business expenses and then it all jumbles up and that just like creates the like, chaos in both sides so I guess yun yung akin if like maintain mo lang talaga and if, if you've really figured out how to do your cash flow itself then you should be able to like 
look at things more objectively. Kasi, oh wait lang, tingnan mo, hindi ka pwede maglaag. Hindi ka pwede, pwede mo inom karon ron. Okay, si Idri lang sa balay. So, yeah, ano, puyog balay. Oh, puyog balay, ano lang, good. So, puyog balay, kay next week pa ang statement of income yeah. <laughs> account. So, ganun siya. So, you just have to like manage your finances very well lang talaga for me. Okay, so cash flow. <laughs> So yeah, it's cash flow management. Of course, Wednesday is more about the investment yes. side of it. Well, cash flow is really important, no? Mo na cash flow is king. Also, mm. okay. Dapat kabulok ka pila income ni mo dawat ni mo. Yaka nasa apod siya mo sulod, mm. <laughs> <laughs> di ba? It doesn't mean na nakai sale ka na automatic, but it means that it's the same yes. account, na na same oh. time frame that you have to consider. Wow. Okay. Sige. Maybe this is going to be the last one. But before that, by the way, guys, we're gonna do an event. On yes. April 25 and 26, 26 2020. Yeah. Maybe you're watching this on 2021. <laughs> so on 2020, sya in Arcadia, Dav- Davao. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So two days na sya and coming tolo ang mag collaborate to talk about yes. e-commerce, building a brand online. Tapos what things you have to consider about any business. Exactly. So, so we're inviting you. Yeah. The, the details in the is na sa description, is na pay registration. Yes. Okay. So if you guys are like um, again, if you're an employee, na you have like a little bit of cash on the side, and you want to start something by yourself um, on the side, lang then while doing your job at the same time, because that's how I did it. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of did it on the side while I was still having my this day job, full time <laughs> graveyard <laughs> graveyard job. <laughs> so ano gabi ako eh, so sa call center ako dapat. So yun, I did it on the side. Then sooner or later, it actually gave me the opportunity na to resign and like have it full time. So if like maka relate kayo doon, <laughs> yeah. if you want to escape the nine to five, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is like one way na you can do it. Okay, that's true. Yeah, like, actually, it's the same things ako ah. Like when we started the present, it's also a part time thing. Now it's a full time thing. So you'll never know what's gonna happen once you just try to learn and then you do things and then boom. Hola, na nakay negosyo, negosyo nte na ka, nebo na nakay problema. Hindi na siya na madali. Mas mudagan ng problema. Mudagan ng problema, iba. And since kanisya, since e-commerce is also a business, just like any business, na ajud siya mga sacrifices that you went through. Like, yeah. Um, most maybe you didn't spend time with your loved ones because you yeah. had to deal with your business or maybe na may mga friends na sige mo uban sa una nya karon dili na kayo oh di ba so daghang ina na na sige daw share mo mga para lahi na pud na perspective ba no hindi na pud gikan sa kotan so sa inyo ha kun sa mga sacrifices that you had to do for you to make this business work for example kanang nay mag birthday sa family and then naju kay like kailangan ak pasun jud na trabaho so sacrifice your time but if ever like mahuman na to siya you can have all day na so kumbaga like sacrifice lang siya jud kadyot so na siya sacrifice uh, na put siya reward mm-hmm. diba so di ka to sa birthday pero sunod adlaw hayahin na ka ah oh, pwede pwede sige or ikaw or travel na tayo yung after yeah. travel travel na to eh travel na to eh guys oh. no Yeah. So sa akin naman um I guess it's like the friends <laughs> na hindi na ako masyado ano lumala, lumalabas with kasi you know um came from college na tendencies you know save sa weekend as uh, weekdays like party party lag yeah, lag like, sa week, yeah. weekends na inum ana So yun siya like from there I kind of just sacrifice siguro the fun right mm-hmm. now So that I can pay my juice, <laughs> then I can have fun later on, man. Then, because, like, believe me, it's not all the time, na like busy ka talaga with the e-commerce and everything. There will come a time where in like, oh, like everything's like going smoothly, and you can relax a yeah, bit. you can relax yeah, a bit. Relax. Yeah, relax. I mean, it Netflix does. Na yeah, exactly. <laughs> Netflix na lang, <laughs> de ba? So hindi siya ganun ka ano. Hindi siya ganun ka time consuming. However, if it needs to be time consuming, then you must have like the time for it then. So ganun lang. So exchange, so, trade, trade off talaga. So, oh. Timing na lang ni mo na. No? Oh. Kung say, kung say dagan. Okay. So the reason why I'm asking those questions is that yun nga, uh, we all want to have a not all. Most of us want to have a business, but we don't understand the sacrifices that we have to go through just for the business to work. Yes. No, so dili lagi na siya ngon na magtukod kag isa ka negosyo dato na kadaya na. Diretso na dayon. Di jud na tinuod. Yeah. Long no? process pa dayon. It's a long pro- process. Yeah. Like 4 years ayahan and 2 years kay Marco, diba? So it's like 
there's time. You need to invest time, not just your money, also your effort. Umuhang mga emotional leisures, <laughs> no emotions. <laughs> yes. Uh, part na siya sa game. Okay. Sige. So before we end, anything else that you wanna share to our audience about e-commerce or anything you wanna share in general? Um, add ko lang. Siguro if um, if you want to go in, into e-com, so idea siya for for people na nanaganik brand and then wala pa sila y, um, online present. So idea mm-hmm. siya for them. So nana sila y brand, oh. tapos gusto sila mag online. Oh, let's Bagay say like, na sila. let's say na sila y, like uh, mango float, nagusto y baligya, di ba? Oh. And then lami yun kaya ito siya, kana or nasa sila y mga secret na like secret like kumbut siya or okay. on sa babay mga like mo na imu hawak oh, na blah 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 that oh yeah so Safe. the moment na naa sila inana mm-hmm. bagay sila mag try pwede kayo pwede kayo mm-hmm. hmm that's another business mm. plan for you okay <laughs> sige thank you Wensley say mo amar ah uh, akin naman is um the thing that I can add is kahit sabi natin even though if you're an employee right now or sabi natin you're an online VA de ba it doesn't mean na uh, like e-commerce is for business itself it doesn't mean uh, it's not developing your hard skills you will find a lot of valuable like high paying hard skills na matutunan mo while doing e-commerce so wag ka matakot to explore kasi you will learn a lot like a lot <laughs> and it's not the learnings that you will get are things that are valued in today's businesses so whether mapa employee ka man or mapa businessman it's something that you can really dive into and actually benefit from. Mm. So yun yung aking like say lang about like e-commerce space and like as a whole. So technically you're going to learn a lot of skills here yes. that you can still apply outside of e-commerce space. Yes. Yeah. Both business and Both employment. Business and employment. Yeah. Which is good because we also need to work to learn not just to earn. Yes. <laughs> All right. Sige. So thank you so much uh, for watching us. No, so this is Wensley and Marco. We're gonna do an event again on April 25, 26, 2020. No, guys. <laughs> Arcadia next year. No, so uh, see you there and um, see you on the next videos.